Have you ever wondered how plants reproduce? It's a fascinating process known as double fertilization, which is unique to flowering plants. So, buckle up as we delve into this mesmerizing process. Firstly, it's crucial to understand that flowering plants reproduce sexually, which means they produce specialized cells known as egg and sperm cells. These cells are found in the flower, which is the reproductive organ of the plant. The sperm cells are produced in the pollen grains, which are located on the anther of the flower. The egg cell, on the other hand, is housed in the ovule within the ovary. The journey of fertilization begins when a pollen grain lands on the stigma, a sticky part of the flower's pistil. This event is called pollination and can be facilitated by wind, water or animals. After pollination, the pollen grain germinates. It forms a tube-like structure known as a pollen tube that grows down through the style into the ovary and finally reaches the ovule. Here's where the magic of double fertilization happens. Each pollen grain contains two sperm cells. One of these sperm cells fuses with the egg cell in a process known as syngamy. This fusion forms a zygote, which is a single cell that will eventually develop into an embryo. But what about the second sperm cell? Well, it doesn't remain idle. It fuses with two other cells in the ovule, known as polar nuclei, to form a triploid cell. This process is called triple fusion. This triploid cell develops into the endosperm, which provides nourishment to the growing embryo. Together, syngamy and triple fusion constitute double fertilization, an ingenious mechanism that ensures the simultaneous development of the embryo and its nutrition. To summarize, double fertilization in plants involves two significant events, syngamy and triple fusion. It begins with pollination and ends with the formation of a zygote and endosperm. This remarkable process underlines the complex and efficient nature of plant reproduction. So the next time you admire a beautiful flower, remember, there's a lot more going on than meets the eye. It's not just about the vibrant colors and alluring fragrances. It's also about a sophisticated process that ensures the continuity of the plant species. Isn't that something to marvel at? Thank you.